Well, hey, you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You, the Beamente y Tu y Yo. And today I thought I'd bring you guys along for a day in the shop. I had a sale over the weekend, so I have quite a bit of orders to process. And that means I have a lot of work to get done. <laughs> I doubt I'll get through all the orders today because um, there's over a hundred of them, but I will be working through as many as I can and kind of in an organizational order. And if that sounds like something that you guys want to see, me processing orders and getting things done throughout the day, then let's get right into the video. All right, so I usually start my day right up here at the shop. This is where I film my videos as well. So everything goes on kind of in this little space, okay? Um, but I do, I have been keeping up with this notebook that I had from my video and I do put a list of things that I need. So these are like all the magnets that I needed to make, some envelopes that I need to make and some other type of products. And so I jot down little notes for myself in here and I kind of look at how I need to structure my day. For right now though, the first thing I want to do is knock out some of the orders in the queue. And since a lot of orders have magnets, I want to bag those up and get some of those orders out first. I've created a lot of them. So this is like the list of, <laughs> it's kind of chicken scratchy for you guys, but a list of all the ones I needed and how many I needed of each thing. So I first want to bag up all the ones that I made in these cellophane bags and get them ready to go out. And then after that, I'll start looking through the orders and pulling what I need for orders that are only magnets, okay? That's how we're gonna start the vlog off for today. So this is my basket full of magnets. I try to create, the first launch, I was creating things that I did, you know, all of the magnets and I was creating a ton of them. And what I did the second launch was primarily create what I needed. However, I ran out of cello bags. So I now got the little cello bags that they go in and I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is first bag up the orders. These were the ones that were most popular. Let's see, Faith Over Fear. You guys love that one. I have quite a bit of those to bag up. This is just a hodgepodge of all different types, so that needs to be bagged up. This one is very popular as well, which is the Afro. And I bagged up some of them, but it looks like this. Um, of course, the IOU is very popular, so I have some of those to bag up. And then these are a hodgepodge as well, like the little Highland Cow. <laughs> it's so cute. Somebody said, Stephanie, um, one of my followers, she said, it's a, it's a cow with a bang. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, and then future savings. This is one of my favorite ones, but yeah. So I need to bag all of these up into the individual little cello bags. So I'm going to put you guys in time warp speed and that's what we're going to do first and foremost. So I can get some of these orders with magnets bagged up and ready to ship first. And once I have them all bagged up, then I usually typically put them in this basket so I can just look through them and be ready to go. So that's what's in here. All right, let's get started. I think I can pack up quite a bit of orders. What I'm gonna do is um, start to package up orders that have only magnets, because I have quite a bit now. See? <laughs> oh, and if you guys don't know, the IOU magnet is like this. It's the only one that's shiny laminate, so you can write on it. Let's say if it's $20, you can write your IOU like this. And then you would just clip that onto your binder or onto your planner. And then this is a Visa Vis I just wrote on it with. You also could write on it with a Sharpie. And so you would just take it off. Hold on, let me use a little hand sanitizer. You can actually just wipe it off. Well, I have it now all over my fingers, okay. <laughs> but anyway, you could just wipe it off with water and start over and have another IOU for next time. So that's what this one is. A lot of people really like this magnet. This one's sold really good. That one's mine. I'm gonna be using it in a video. And we're gonna start working on some orders. Game changer alert. If you guys do not know, if you do package orders and you have to take off all these little like tabs, <laughs> I put one piece of tape down on the desk and prop it under something. This time it was the markers. And as I pull off these tabs, I just stick it onto this tape. So then the tape has all the little things that fly all over the place. I don't know if you guys know that, but if you package orders, you already know they fly and stick to you and everything. I've put them onto the tape that's on the table. 
try not to have the Etsy orders in like view, but I am gonna call out the names as I do it. Let's see, a party emoji, a little black fro, and an IOU. I have some of the tiniest little bags. Ugh. These, look how cute. Those are for the magnets. They're almost too small for the label to fit. Like I literally, ugh, so annoying. Anyway, um, these three magnets together, a party emoji, the black fro, and the IOU. Those three are gonna go to Estelle. Thank you, Estelle, so much for your order. I'm not gonna call out everybody because there are so many to be done, but I am gonna put her name on here, like just her initials, and put it to the side. And that way, when I print the labels, I'll know whose bag is who. So next is Joan. Thank you, Joan. Hey, Joan, how are you? Uh, she's one of my members in my membership and a friend of mine from Instagram. Thank you so much, Joan, for your order. Now I gotta fish through these, y'all, because I had so many. Where'd I put those faith over fears? Oh, here they go. She had a faith over fear, and she had a multicolored flower. These two, and we're gonna package hers. I'm trying to look through anything I can actually get done. I don't like this pen, hold on. I don't like gel pens, because I think it smears, so I'm gonna try to use just a regular ballpoint pen. So that one's for Joan. And then if I if it's something I can get through, then I'm gonna try to get through it all at one time. So give me just a second, I need to pull down something. All of these were up there on my rack. These are vellum scratch-offs that are already ready, shipped, hole punched, ready to go. This order is gonna be for Ty. And thank you, Ty, for your order. She said she wanted a blue five through 30. They come in three denominations and they come in eight colors. So let me find what she wanted first. Okay, let me sit these up here because if somebody has orders for those, I'm gonna go ahead and process it. So these are the vellum scratch off envelopes and they are actually an envelope so you can put the money in and they already came pre-hole punched. So this is hers as well as she wanted a monkey, one of these and she wanted a $5 challenge envelope. So I've been working on some envelopes ahead of time and some products, but hers is a $5 challenge. Here it is, one of these. And this goes with this book. So this is the book that you can download on Etsy, but you also can buy it on Amazon. And if you do, you can get matching envelopes for your challenges made like this. So this is hers. She wanted a $5 one, and then she also wanted a month ahead savings challenge. So I'm gonna give her that. Now I did promise her one other thing. So let me go grab that for her. I promised her a this or that binder cause she already bought all the cards, but I didn't give her the binder. And she asked me, could she get one? And I told her I would give it to her. So thank you, Ty, so much for your order. Let me bag your order up next. And I don't know if you guys were here, but last time I got these bags from Uline. And do you know I'm about to be out? And that was 250 bags. That was in my last shop vlog. And I'm about to be out of those. So I had to order some like emergency bags so I can get these orders out. Next order is gonna be for Sidarian. Thank you, Sidarian. She said it's her very first Etsy order. I am so excited. And she's getting a Faith Over Fear and a Yes You Can. So let me get those two for her. I think you guys like the ones with the words the most. Those have really been like popping. Found one, okay. So yes, you can. And Faith Over Fear, these two are going for her. And thank you, Sidarian, for your very first order. I appreciate you so much. All Everybody that bought from my shop, I appreciate you. But, you know, her very first order, she trusted me. What? I'm so excited. Cynthia, and she just ordered a future savings. Oh, my gosh, Cynthia, this is one of my favorites. Where is it? I just bagged it up and I don't know what I did with it. Where is it? Oh, this kind is so cute. That is so cute. That's like one of my favorite ones. All right, next up is Portia. And Portia, thank you. She's one of my members. Hey girl, hey. Portia got three of them. She got three Faith Over Fears and I'm super excited for that. I'm guessing she's buying them as gifts because she always, she's generously given to me, so I know she's a giver. So I'm guessing she's buying these for gifts for other people, but maybe not. Anyway, thank you so much, Portia. 
Next up is Gina, and she wanted an IOU, a fully funded, I mean, where is that? A Faith Over Fear, and a black afro. Yay, I could do it. She could do hard things. So she has these four. These little bags come in clutch for these little magnets because they're so small. They fit in there perfectly. They don't take a lot. And I was putting them in these big old bags like this before, so you get like one magnet in this big old bag. And I still have to do the IOU slips in the big old bag because they won't fit. They're not, they're too wide for this. So these little bags are so cute though. But anyway, thank you, Gina, for your order. All right, we're moving on to Tracy. Tracy wanted a cow. Now, I know I had a cow. Now, what did I do with the cow? What else did she say? A boba, a cat, an IOU. Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta start digging for real now. Now it's getting real. Okay, here's the cow. Y'all know I love the cow. I'm using the cow, my dog on so. Okay, the cow, an IOU. That one's right here on top. A cat, a cow, an IOU, a cat, a boba, and a monstera plant. Now, I know I had a monstera. Let me find that one. Found him. Okay, so monstera looks like this. The cat, IOU, the cow, and a boba. And that's going to go out to Tracy. Thank you so much, Tracy, for your order, too. Y'all showing these magnets love. Thank you so much. These bookmarks. Everybody has really received them so well. A girl just got to say thank you. I'm going to skip an order for right now. We'll come back to it, but I need to make some debt envelopes. We're going to move on to Hyleen. Um, Colleen, she ordered two Highland cows. The cows with the bang. Two of these. So cute. That's going to go to Colleen. Thank you so much, Colleen. Okay, next we have Erlene, and she wants a black fro. You guys was killing these black fro's. Wait, I stuck them all somewhere. Now I don't know where they are. A black fro, a faith over fear, and an IOU. Okay, here's an IOU. A faith over fear. And a black fro. All right, here's these three. And that's going to go to Erlene. Next up is Tammy. And she had an IOU a fully funded and a cow. There's the cow. And a fully funded. Wait, I gotta find that one now. What I do? Where are they? Where they go? No one knows. All right. So she had these three. And that's going to Tammy. Thank you so much, Tammy, for your order. I just talked about these. All right, and then we have Carol. Carol always orders from our shop. I truly, truly appreciate you and look at your magnets right on top. Faith over fear and future, so cute. And Carol, thank you so much. Your continued support is unmatched, like seriously. Wait a minute, let me throw something in here for you because you always in the biz, you always in my shop. Let me see what I got for you. I'm gonna give her one of these pink ones because she always, I mean, Y'all don't even know, okay? The support is unmatched, period. She's always in my shop shop, and I appreciate it. And I appreciate you, Carol. Thank you so much for shopping with me again. Okay, so the, the bookmarks are waterproof, and somebody asked me to laminate them and make them, but that's not a service that I offer. So I'm going to message her and ask her if she wants them like they are or if she wants a refund. Um, because I like custom orders, if I have like a hundred orders and I'm trying to customize everything for every person, it's just unheard of. I just can't do it, you know? So um, I'm going to reach out to this person and ask them if they want a refund or do they want them as is. They are waterproof, but they're not able to be written on except for the IOU. So let me message her real quick. So next up is a party emoji and an IOU. And that comes from the Thrifty Sewist. She said, hey, it's the Thrifty Sewist from YouTube. I watch all your videos. I'm loving these magnets so much. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you guys be showing me mad love. I cannot take it. Okay, now let's get hers going. She has a fully funded and an IOU. So I'm gonna stick those in here. Thank you so much. I don't always reply to all the messages. Actually, I don't reply to any of the messages. I'll be busy, but... <laughs> 
the, S the messages you guys sent me on Etsy. But I do appreciate you. And if I'm packing online, I'll mention that you, you know, sent me a message. Thank you so much to the Thrifty Sewist. All right, next we have Lisa, and she said an avocado and office supplies. Y'all know I love them office supplies. Hold on. Okay, the avocado, I made it bigger, so there's that. Office supplies. Donde? Donde? Here he is. Oh, these are so cute. <laughs> Those are like some of my favorites. And that's going to go to Lisa. I have a trash can behind me. Thank you, Lisa, for your order. All right, next up is Cynthia. She wants two of the Black Froze. The Black Froze was a hit, y'all. These ones right here, honey. These ones right here. Okay, they was going up. Two Black Froze for Cynthia. Thank you so much, Cynthia. I appreciate your order. Let me get you going. If you guys didn't hear your name, just know, you know, I'm doing the best I can. I got a lot of orders. Like I said, 100 orders, come on. We just doing Magnus right now. For um, Tiffany, she had a uh, Faith Over Fear. She had a dog. I saw a dog over here. Yes, here's the dog. Oh. Faith Over Fear, a monkey. Y'all love that monkey too, look. He be getting it. Okay, the monkey and Faith Over Fear and the Black Fro. I told you the Black Fro, fro goes up one of these so she had all four of these so a lot of you guys did use the link down in the description and i appreciate it because that saved me a little bit on etsy fees you know anyway we're gonna do this one okay next uh oh we have hilda hilda also is another one who comes through wanting everything buying from my shop continuously this is her one month ahead I think she ordered some envelopes from me. Again, she orders envelopes all the time, and I really, truly appreciate you, Hilda. Um, so let me get her order bagged up. And because it's right here, and I have it right here in the basket, because I did pre-make some items, and so anything I pre-made that I saw was going to be needed, I stuck them down in here just so I can have quick access. And this is one of the things. There's a, quite a bit of things in here. There's some post-it notes. No, not post-it notes. What are they called? These? IOU slips. I pre-made some of those. Those are ready to go. Stuff like that. So anyway, this one is for Hilda. A lot of you guys are repeats. Like it tells me in the app, I would show you, but it's going to have everybody's business. But it tells me who is actually a repeat customer. And y'all be coming through. Hold on. Okay, next up is Laura. And she just had an IOU. Thank you so much, Laura. Let's get her IOU magnet. Like this. Next is Nation. Hey, Nation. I talk to Nation on Instagram all the time. And she has a boba. Now, let me find the dog on boba. <sighs> Nation, I'm about to make yours. I'll make yours in a minute. Okay. <laughs> I thought I had another boba, but the one I have has a different type of magnet on it that doesn't work so well. So I don't have time for that. Okay. Multicolored flower is going to Rivers of Design. Elizabeth, thank you so much. This one will be for Nations. We're going to make her one. And this one is Elizabeth. Next we have Diana and she said a multicolored flower and a bloom. Okay, hold on. Okay, here goes bloom. I thought I had another multicolored flower. All right, a multicolored flower and a sunflower. This one says bloom where you're planted. So cute. Let me get some more little packaging. This one is for, and right now I'm working through orders that need to be shipped by the 14th. So I'm ahead of schedule on some of these magnet orders, but I have some other orders to do in between them. Does that make sense? So I try to do, if you've seen any of my shop vlogs before, I try to do as many as I can with what I have. And sometimes I prep in advance getting stuff together. Like for instance, for Janae, she wants, her name is Janae. Thank you, Janae. She wants a lot of these envelopes that go with the little, challenge book so i'm gonna get hers she had a light up my heart light up my heart a 20 dollar blocks i just finished the 20 dollar blocks that was the bomb i want to do that one again but it's too late i'm moving on um i'm actually moving on to light up my heart so i'm excited but anyway take notes 
Honey Bees, Pack Your Bags. Wait, where's that one? I thought I had a Pack Your Bags. But oh Lord, I don't have a Pack Your Bags. Oh Lord. That might have been on my list of something that I needed to create it for her. So let me skip this one because I thought I had everything for Janae's order, but I'm missing a pack your bags. And then I have the count by ones and the dollar challenge. So I'll come back to hers. I need to make some of those envelopes too. Moving forward. Um, I know Anisha. She just had a monkey. This one's yours, Anisha. So cute. You guys really love the monkey too. I feel like I've bagged up a gazillion of those. Okay, Anisha. All right. And then we have... Althea, no, no, wait, that's not right. Alethea. And she has a party emoji and a Highland cow. I saw that Highland cow somewhere. Where'd it go? They're waiting to go to her house. They're sitting side by side. Okay, so there they go. The party emoji and the Highland cow. And that's for Alethea. Thank you, Alethea. How many packages do I have on this table before I start labeling them? Let's just keep going. Okay. <laughs> Next, I have Jacqueline. She has a Never Stop. I just saw that one. Composition book. Yes, you can. Where's the Never Stop? I just saw that. We're getting down to the wire. These are the old generation ones, if you guys can see. And all of these are the new ones. You see how many we bagged up already? Here we go. Here we go. Never Stop Growing. Okay, with the composition book. A lot of people like composition book too. So cute. And yes, you can. And those are going with a set of IOUs, one set of IOUs, all of this. And see, this is the one that won't fit. I wonder if it'll fit this way. Now I'm looking at it different. Wait a minute. Don't tell me that fit in here. I've been putting it in that big old bag and it fits in this little bitty one. Knock it off. It's going in the little one. Jacqueline is, Jackie is headed straight to you. Okay. Let's see, that one I can't do. This one I can. This is a cow. Oh, I need another cow. I know I need another cow. I need to write that down. I need a cow and I need a boba. Hold on. Let's just start writing some stuff down. This is exactly how I make notes. Okay, I need a cow and I need a boba. I know for sure I need those two to make. I'm not gonna make them on film, but I will make them and pack them up. A coin purse, fully funded, and a party. I think this must be where I stopped because I don't remember. Do I have another coin purse? Like, I did so many orders to look and see and made a bunch of magnets, but I still had a lot to make, and I kind of gave up. And I don't remember making a coin purse. I don't even think it was on the list, so that must have came in after, but I do have some other ones. So I'm going to move that one. That's for Alta Vise. Alta Vise, I'm going to get you in there today, girl. Don't worry. A Highland Cow. Yeah, I think I'm past where I stopped because these orders are due on the 15th, and I don't have another Highland cow either. So I'll make a list of those in just a minute. And that was for Sarah. So Sarah, your order's coming up shortly. Let me see if there's anything else that I do have that I can get together. Let me stop right there. I'm going to put labels on all of these and then I'm going to make a list of which more magnets I need and we're going to get those going soon. But for right now, we have done one, two, three, four. Actually, let me just print all the labels and that'll tell me how many. Hold on. All right, I think that was 22 orders. I'm gonna print them all and label them and we're gonna move forward and make some more products, okay? All right, I'm gonna put you guys in time warp and I'm gonna go ahead and label all of these packages, which should be 22 of them, so let me do that. I have four packages on the table and three names that I don't know. So I just go back and look at my history and find the completed orders. All right, for these two, I forgot to print the label and the one extra label I have is the person that I messaged and I need to figure out if they're gonna message me back. If not, I'll just package up their order 
without it being laminated because that's the person that asked me to make a custom order and laminate it. But yeah, I don't, I don't have that as an option right now. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I can't, y'all. This is enough trying to keep up with what I got going on. Like legit, if I try to... I'm not even gonna receive it because I can't do it. I can't do it, okay? I just legit will be swimming up to my eye, will be swimming up to my eyeballs in custom orders. It's really hard um, because people are like, oh, can you make this? And can you do this? And can you put, put my name on this? And can you add this? And it's like, ma'am, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to, work through 73 more orders that's where we're at okay and it's 246 so yeah all right let me see what am i going to do next before i get started let me let me make a list of what magnets i need to make so i can get that started up let's just make it here so what i'm basically doing is going to go through all the orders and think of and write think of and write down everything that i need to make so i need a monkey for that one i need a boba The boba's for nation and the monkey is for Angela. Thank you, Angela. Okay, and uh, <laughs> the cow. I have the coffee. I got the coffee. I'm pretty sure I had a coffee in here. One look in my eyes, no, I'm not. Yeah, I got a coffee. Look. Okay, so I got a coffee. I need a cow. I only made one cow. I thought I needed only one cow. Golly. Okay, so I need a coffee. Wait, was there a party emoji in here? Because that's for Alta B. So we about to get them orders out right there. And then we're going to go back to the top and start working on anything else that's at the top. God, I thought I had another, um, what is it? Okay, I definitely have fully funded. Coin purse. Wait a minute. Wait a minute here. Wait a minute. Gotta look for something. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, fully funded. Let's put it on the table because I ain't got time to get on my room. Fully funded, party emoji, and let's put this coffee on the table. We know we're gonna need that one. I had another party emoji. That's terrible. That's terrible, folks. No ma'am. No ham, no ma'am. I need a coin purse. Now I know I had a coin purse around here because I was supposed to be sending that to someone who won it and um, as a giveaway, but she lived out of the country. I need to miss Sarah and I need to find something else to send to her or find another way to give her a gift because the shipping for the doggone coin purse was like $30 or something. I'm like, I'm gonna send one magnet for $30. I might as well give her a $15 gift card to Amazon. So I was gonna reach out to her about that. So I know I have a coin purse around here. Somewhere, somewhere there's a coin purse. Let's just make a coin purse. It doesn't take that long. So we got a coin purse, fully funded, party emoji, Y'all, let me see, what else is this? Highland Cow. Okay, we're gonna stop right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna make those six. Okay, I located the coin purse. Now what I need to do is make everything but the coin purse. So let me get on that. What I think I'm going to do is go ahead and take the time to make out these five magnets, which will help me to get a few more orders out, as well as some more of the challenge envelope, one or two for some orders. So I'm going to go ahead and make those as well. So that'll help me. And then I'm going to make easy debt snowball envelopes. I need two of those. So I'm going to make all of those products and then I'll come back. I would show you guys, but it's like really, you know. So let me just go ahead and make all those and then I'll come back and we'll start packing a few more orders and we'll see how far we get today. Oh, I also have some orders for shine and saves and I need to do the vinyl shine and save part. So I'll probably bring you guys along for that and do that as well. Okay, I'm back. That was about maybe 30 minutes, but I got a lot done. First of all, I printed off one of these so I can make three debt, um, easy debt snowball envelopes. Second of all, I made the five magnets that I need to make for the orders that needed to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and bag up those now that I have those five made. I also made four extras because I just had it. And then lastly, I cut the vinyl for the shine and save. So I'm gonna weed this out and we're gonna put these onto here in just a minute. So that's gonna be the last piece. 
Let me bag up these and package these orders that have these. While I have you guys here, I wanted to talk to you about um, a new product that I'm thinking of offering. Of course, if I do decide to offer it, I'll offer it to the members first. If you guys don't know, I have a membership here on my channel. And I have been um, loving the memberships and how it's going. Hold on, I need my little... <laughs> know what products are going to do well and um, voting on products for me to kind of help with design process of products and what they think will be a good sale or not. And I can kind of gauge because I feel like, you know, sometimes my own opinion is just that, it's just mine. And so I need the help of the members to kind of decide, you know. So anyway, I came out with these envelopes. These are kind of similar to the Shine and Save. Of course, these would only be able to be offered in pink or white because black, the black wording won't show up. But it has a category down here and then it has a little mini categories across the top. So this one, I made a set that says groceries, kids, snacks, self-care, and daycare. And these are A7 size and so these would go inside your wallet. I'm thinking of looking into other size options, maybe... No, these are A6. So I'm thinking of looking into other size options, possibly A7, as well as um, A5, and having those type of tabbed envelopes as well offered to you guys, and you would be able to customize what your tab said, and the label would also be here on the envelope. So let me know what you think about that. Also, let me know what are your thoughts on like A6 versus A7 versus A5, you know, if that's something that you would be interested in. Let me know that so I can kind of gauge what size I would offer if I do end up offering them. All right, so now we have the ones that we need from our list. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that out. I wanna go ahead and see what I can package with these. I also have these, so let me see what I can do. All right, I can package Nation's order now for sure. Debbie has a cow and a coffee. Let me package these up, hold on. Okay, Nation had a boba. It looks like this. All right, and then Debbie, she had a cow and a coffee, like these. So cute. Those are two of my favorites, really, seriously. Anyway, a cow and a coffee. And that's for Debbie. And then Alta V's had a fully funded, a party emoji, and a coin purse. Like this. And all of those are gonna go to Alta Vise. And then lastly, I have a Highland Cow. This monkey goes with, I need one of those debt envelopes. So I'm gonna get that one out too. And that's gonna go out to, I can't remember who right now. But anyway, um, Sarah, she ordered a Highland Cow Pearl White 52100. Pearl White 52100, as well as a Highland Cow. All right, and that's Sarah's order. Anyway, that's all the order so far. That bag sits down here so I can just toss stuff in there. And then I have a trash can on the other side. All right, so we need to make two dead envelopes at least but i'm just gonna go ahead and make three because three come on a sheet so i'm gonna make all three of these and then we're gonna work on some shine and save and putting the vinyl onto the envelopes for shine and save it's 3 45 so it's still kind of early i have to take the packages to my post office closes at uh, midnight but i usually like to take them like around 7 p.m I also have some character envelopes that I need to make, so um, and those need to go out by tomorrow, so I'll probably start working on those right after I get done with these.
And while I'm doing this, I'm just going to go ahead and pull out the orders for um, Angela because she ordered a lot of these vellum scratch-off challenges. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out all the orders for hers. All right, so let me just make sure I got it all right. Six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Yeah, okay, so she has a couple of gold. She has a white, a few red, a couple of pink. A green, a blue, a beige, oh, and another white. There's another white somewhere else. There we go. So 11 um, scratch-off challenges. These vary between 5 to 30. So all the dots on here would be between 5 and 30. These are between 20 and 50. And then the last one is between 50 and 100, which is this red one. She got a couple of 50 to 100s like this. So everything on here, like this. So everything on here is between 50 and 100. All right, so all of these are gonna go with her order. They already hole punched two inch facing. So all of that's gonna go with her order as well as one of these jet snowball trackers and the monkey magnet. So let's finish this up, Angela. Okay, we getting it together, Angela, hold on. I have quite a bit of boxes that I need to ship as well, and I'm going to be working on those. I've already had, those are already created. I just need to bag them up and then package them up. So I'll probably be boxing all of the boxes tomorrow, I think. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do them all tomorrow, we'll see. This is my favorite cutter and I cut the, I broke the handle off, you guys, and I love this cutter. I need to buy another one. It's the cheapest one I have. I have some other higher end ones and this one is my favorite. I got so used to it and I literally broke the handle off the other day. I was so upset and I keep using it without a handle. <laughs> I be thinking in my head like, you gonna cut your finger off doing this, but I don't care. I still use it because it's my favorite cutter. Favorite. Okay, hold on. Let me get some um, five mil laminate so I can get that going. All right, so this is Angela's order. I went ahead and rounded the corners on the Easy Jet Snowball envelope. It's clear on the back. We got that one all set. And I'm gonna put it in here with her vellum scratch-offs. I don't know why I sealed this up and then remembered I need to add this other envelope in here. So I'm gonna put it in here. There we go. And now all of her vellum scratch-offs are in here with the Jet Snowball and the Monkey Magnet. And all of that is gonna go in one of these and we're gonna get her order out. This one, I'm gonna sit to the side. I usually send it in a basket up there and just hold off so that way I know I have it. And that's where all the oops envelopes are as well that I need to list. I'm really gonna get on top of those soon, but you see what happens. <laughs> I have 50 million other things going on. So listing the oops are not always the priority, but I am going to get to it. All right, now we get to work on the shine and save. Hold on, I'm going to change the view so you guys can see what I'm doing on this. All right, so I'm going to bring you guys in really close. Hey, this is my regular view, right? Um, and I'm going to weed out the shine and save first. So it's on hollow vinyl and... Um, I'm just gonna weed it out. Now, I have enough on here for, I think, um, three sets. Sometimes like this, see this letter came up, so I'm gonna just push it back down, which is super annoying, but it happens over and over, okay? <laughs> and so, uh, I think this is enough for three sets, but I only need to make two right now. Uh-oh, wait, I need reinforcement. Put the other tools in place. Let me just stick this right. I'm gonna hold that for a second. That's an eye. Okay. It should come off fairly easy, but what should and what actually happens sometimes is two different things, so. 
I'm gonna try to do the best I can. Uh-oh, a V went missing and so did an E. Okay, hold on. Here's the E. We'll put that on later. Don't worry about it. And then here's the V. Bam. All right, so there's that. So we got all that out of there. Shine and save to the max. I'm going to try to replace these back. I'm missing another eye right here and this one's these two are messed up I wouldn't I don't think I would add that so I'm gonna look and see if I have some extra eyes if I need it but I do have one two three four five for one set and one two three four five for a second set and then these extra four are just if I get another sale you know so it's not needed right now but what I do have to do is weed out all these little uh divots from the A's and the D's so I'm gonna take those all out and then we're going to start transferring. So let me do that really quick. If you have a Cricut and you weed it before, then you know the pain <laughs> in the game. But um, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. And it goes really quick because I'm doing this in real time. And this is probably going to take me about literally two minutes. I sometimes have a piece of tape that I put all this into. So like, like for instance, this. I like to stick these onto here instead of sticking them on my finger because this vinyl is really sticky and it sticks to itself really well. So I'm going to take that off and stick that on here. So that's one of the tricks that I do do. And I don't know, I, I just started weeding what, like how many months ago? Not long at all. So I'm not the perfect person for this. Y'all, if you want some tutorials on how to weed, uh, go to somebody who has a lot of vinyl products because I'm just learning myself. <laughs> And sometimes I'm like struggling with it, but I got it enough that I feel comfortable selling vinyl products, you know? It's just, um, it is very tedious sometimes. And maybe that's why I haven't started selling like envelopes all the way because people ask me to like special make something. Sometimes I do it as a favor, but um, someone just asked me to make them a scratch and save envelope vinyl. And I thought maybe I'll make a listing for vinyl envelopes up to, you know, a certain amount of letters. Maybe like an envelope with just shine it. Wait, scratch off. R A T C H O F F. That's 10. C H A L L E N G E S. That's 20. So up to 20 letters. So they'll be able to put scratch off challenges. But if you want to put something else, you can. But up to 20 letters, maybe have one set price for a vinyl envelope. Because somebody else asked me to make one that said this or that. So they're doing the this or that challenge and they want to put it inside of, I think it was Thai. I just gave her this or that binder instead. But I mean, I think she wanted an envelope that she can put her this or that challenge cards in. And so, you know, maybe I'll make a, a standard listing. Did I get it all? Let me see. I feel like I did. Yeah, she got it. See all these? And then these four right here, I'll just leave them here for the next binder that I get. Oh, wait, where's that eye? Oh, no. Okay, wait. <laughs> I'm going to have to use an eye from another one down here. It's fine. Let me weed another one down here just in case. It'll be easier to pick up this whole row than it would be to move that eye for me. But, you know, that's just my preference. Okay, so now we have at least 10 of them weeded out. Let's go ahead and get some transfer tape. And we're going to put those onto these Shine and Save envelopes. I literally want it to be enough just to cover this, you know, because if it's too much, it starts to stick to other letters on the paper. At least that's what I found. So then I usually just have one piece like this. Let me get all of it together. Okay. All right. Let's back y'all up. Okay. I'm backing you up a bit. So the first thing I do is I just put it on top of one of the whole words like this. And I use this kind of scraper, and I don't know if this is the right one, but I find that when I go side to side and then up and down, it kind of works best. And I'm going to pick up the whole sheet. And this comes off. And then I just put it on here. It's not bad. I try to simple center the word and between these two dots. So like if it was here, like that, but up here. 
so it can be pretty centered amongst all the envelopes. I just put it down. I use this one piece of transfer tape for every single envelope that I'm putting it on. And sometimes, look, it still doesn't come off, so I really have to rub. And I find that when I go up and down this way, it does better. But, um, yeah. Let me see if I can get it off. And the crazy part is when I put it on the binder, it doesn't have such difficulties as it does on these kind of plasticky envelopes. The binder just goes right on, stays on, no issue. But on these plasticky envelopes, it has a harder time sticking. And I guess that's good because the vinyl can come, uh-oh. And I guess that's good because the vinyl can come off, but yeah, if you guys have any chips of the trade that'll help me to get this on here easier. Once they're on, I find that they stay but I am constantly like maneuvering to put this part on. And that's probably why I saved this part to last. <laughs> It'd be the last thing I'd be doing on these envelopes. And I'm like, oh Lord, gotta transfer all those shining saves. And it's not bad. I mean, that probably took me all of what? I don't know, two, three minutes. And there's one. I use this same transfer tape and I use it for all of, you know, all 10 of these that I'm gonna do today. So I don't know if that has something to do with it. Like I said, any tips from anybody that actually does vinyl, works with vinyl, let me know. Because, honey, I'm open to all of it. Okay, so now I'm going to put this one. Again, trying to center in between the middle. Okay, I got them all done. Let's see, shine, quarter four, three, two, one. Both of these sets are being sold without a binder, so they just need to be packaged, and these orders can go out. Um, I think this one had a scratch-off card with it, and I asked her. I used to sell scratch-off cards that were 100 on one side, 250 on the other, and I don't have any more of those, and I took them out of the listing as an option, but she noted that style. So I tried to get her to message me back and let me know what style she wants. So we'll hold on to this, but they are done. And this one needs to go out right away. So yeah, let me go ahead and bag these up and then we'll move on to the next items. Okay, you guys, I'm debating if I wanna make this a two-day vlog or if I'm just gonna cut it off here. I think I'm gonna cut it off here because I still have quite a bit of envelopes to make, but you guys have seen me make character envelopes over and over. So there's no sense in doing that. And I do have an order for why Gina and Betty, that'll be going out today. And then also Jessica, I'm gonna be sending out your order and Janetta. So all of those orders are just envelopes and I wanna make sure I focus and get those correct and get those out today. Um, and then I'll be working on the products, which are some of the other envelopes that go with the Easy Cash Save More um, for Janae. She's up next and Jessica, I'll be doing some of your orders and LaFrida. And then um, right now I'm about to package up Nikki's order. I was trying to wait until she replied back to me in regards to her scratch off, but then there's lots of other orders. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna start um, trying to do envelopes next. And because of that, I think I'm gonna stop the vlog here. I'm gonna go ahead and send out these um, shine and saves. And I appreciate you guys for being here with me to package up and send out a bunch of the magnets as well as now the shine and saves. What else did we do today? Oh, let me know if you're interested in these, if this will be something you would be interested in. They would only come in pink or white. Also the vellum scratch off envelopes. I packaged up some of those and I still have quite a bit of these to package up. So yeah, and I have plenty here to still do that with. So they're already ready to go. They just need to be shipped. And also I'll be working on the boxes tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think I'm gonna come up quite a bit earlier. Today, I didn't get up here until about maybe one. And so what you guys saw was between one and it's now 4.30. Um, Jace does have company over today, so I wanna make sure I go downstairs and get them something to eat for dinner. Also, I need to make the run to the post office and finish up the rest of the envelopes that I need to make. So that's why I'm gonna cut the vlog here, but I appreciate you guys for being here. 
Uh, let me see, was there anything else I wanted to talk about? Thank you to everybody who shot my sale and got that, um, got any orders in. And trust me, I'm working through them ahead of schedule as best I can because I want to make sure that everybody gets their orders on time. So don't worry about that. It's just I have to do them in order. When there's like 100 orders, there's no way that I can like do 100 orders in one day just by myself. So I'm trying to work through some every day. So between today and tomorrow, you'll probably get a notification saying your order went out, including the boxes, because they're already ready and ready to ship. I just need to package them all up. What little we got done here today. I feel like I showed some things, but there's always something behind. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified um, whenever I put out a video. Look into the memberships on my channel as well because I do have one for entrepreneurs. So if you want some ideas or tutorials on how to bring out products, let me know. And if you want a tutorial on how to make some of these magnets, please let me know because I'm thinking about doing that towards the end of the month. If you would like a tutorial on a magnet, just tag hashtag I'm in down in the description. So that way I can gauge how many people actually would like that type of information or is that something I should release to the members only. So let me know about that. And I think that is it for today. I am super excited. I do have something else exciting coming soon, but um, I'm going to release it to the members and let them know first. And once that's released, then I'll come to you guys letting you know about a new, really exciting product that a lot of people have been asking me for. And so, yeah, it's going to be something I think a lot of you will really enjoy. Anyway, I think that is it for today. I appreciate you for being here. Take care.